Let's get to your daily blend of everything you need to know to start off this Thursday. Hey, Brittany. Let's start off with a live look at your roadways. If you're splitting up, maybe you're headed to Davis thinking, all right, what can I expect? Well, as we peek into 80, you can see traffic already picking up as maybe folks head into Davis. You're looking at about 48, 50 miles per hour. As we talk about what our ABC 10 lasers want you to know about, they're saying, hey, watch out right now, 99 northbound near Twin City. We have an accident. You can see traffic is building, so let's run the numbers. Should you take five? Well, you can see despite the accident, you're still looking at 20 miles, 28 minutes. So traffic is definitely building. If you take five, it'll save you a couple of minutes this morning. And of course, we'll continue to update you throughout rush hour. Rob, Carl, Mark, we're so close to the weekend. I think I saw in your 10 days somewhere 80 degrees. Is it true? <laughs> we're getting really close. Brittany, uh, I think some of us for sure are going to hit 80s uh, for a couple days at least next week. So if you're a fan of that kind of weather, uh, you're going to love next week. But look at this. We've got some breezy conditions. You know, when it's like this in the morning, you know something's up. And uh, it's just been that dry streak of windy weather that we've been in for the last couple of days. I can tell you this. If you suffer from allergies, today's going to be a better day than the last two. We're not totally out of it. Some rain it would actually be nice to knock everything down, all the pollen, but we're not there yet. We do see some light Sierra snow and maybe some 80s coming in uh, for next week, like we just talked about. There's some snow over I-80 right now through Truckee. Uh, it's not gonna be that much, just some flurries, maybe an inch of snow at best. And the road surface, I keep talking about this because I don't think anybody else does, but it's important. The road is so much warmer now than it is in midwinter that any snow falling from the sky has a really tough time sticking to that road. So a lot of the issues you see with uh, winter snow uh, are not going to happen with this kind of spring snow. So the temperatures are going to roll through them kind of quickly. Just know in general they're coming down. We're looking at some clouds later on today and temps in the 60s rather than the 70s yesterday. You like the 70s? Just you wait. 70s for everyone tomorrow. You get a 70, you get a 70, you get a 70. It's all coming back. Wow, Rob running a 70s game show. All right, thank you, Rob. We do have breaking news right now. The U.S. Justice Department have just announced charges against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. He's accused of conspiracy to commit computer hacking after officials say he helped Chelsea Manning break into classified computers. This morning, British police arrested Assange on an extradition request from the U.S. Assange spent the last seven years holed up in the Ecuadorian embassy in London for fear of being arrested. As soon as he stepped off Ecuador's diplomatic soil, Assange had been wanted for publishing thousands of classified military documents and diplomatic messages. Well, today is the day thousands of teachers are going on strike in Sacramento, their first strike at Sac Unified in 30 years. ABC 10's Carlos Herrera live at Sacramento's McClatchy High School where school is set to begin in about 90 minutes. Carlos. Yeah, in just a couple of minutes, actually. And this morning, we're beginning to see our first picketers down on Freeport. We saw a couple of gentlemen. Uh, this morning, though, he was the first one. He is a, a teacher at McClatchy High School, has been a teacher for about 23 years now. He says he's expecting many of his colleagues to join him later this morning. The reality of this is that Many thousands of students will be impacted by this strike today. 42,000 to be exact. Uh, we know parents don't know whether to bring their uh, kids to school or not. The reality is that the district says schools will be open and classes will be appropriately staffed. Uh, students who don't show up to school today will have an unexcused absence. The district is going to call on substitutes, retired teachers, administrators with teaching credentials and other emergency replacement teachers uh, to be ready in all the classrooms where a teacher doesn't show up today. But many parents we heard from today say they're worried about these replacement teachers not being qualified. These are qualified professionals who are in the teaching profession or are going into the teaching profession. They have to pass the CBAS, which is the same test that our qualified credential teachers have to pass. District officials say they plan on notifying parents about any changes by phone, email, and social media. They're also going to have a link with all these strike updates on the district's website. We have a link to that on our website, abc10.com. Superintendent Jorge Aguilar and board members will have a uh, press conference at 8 or 8.30 this morning uh, with updates about the strike. That location is yet to be determined, but we, will, we do know it will be in Sacramento. Walt, we're sending it back over to you. Yeah, I think the general feeling, Carlos, is that uh, students may be staying away from schools today. 
And uh, we'll have to wait and see. I know the schools are anxious to see who shows up. Police say they've arrested someone who killed two teens in Stockton. 15-year-old Advan Vang was with his 14-year-old friend Nicholas. They were on their bikes February 24th around midnight. And somebody shot and killed them. Police tell us they've arrested a 15-year-old boy in connection with the case who's now facing charges of murder. Kirsten. 6.38 on a Thursday this morning. We're hearing from a family of a woman who was found dead in a car in Stanislaus County. Sheriff's officials found the body of 25-year-old Baraina Moreno in her car Monday in Farmington, and they say that someone killed her. I was coming from work, and I saw two policemen, detectives there, and I, was, I shook their hand. I was like, hey, how are you guys doing? And then I went, I put my sweater down, and then my mom said, sit down. And then they just told me that something happened to my sister, and they were like, oh, we found your sister deceased. Police know the man who may be responsible. This is his picture. His name is Jose Manuel Gonzalez Silva, but they say he's on the run right now. So if you've seen the guy on your screen right now, please call police. And let's look at some other stories that are making headlines for you this morning. A woman and her premature baby boy are both fighting for their lives after being hit by a man police say was driving drunk. It happened Monday in Rio Linda. 31-year-old Sierra Villegas was six months pregnant and doctors had to do an emergency C-section. Both she and the baby are in critical condition. Ronnie Ward was arrested for driving on a suspended license and DUI. A shocking declaration by President Trump's attorney general. William Barr told senators he believes the FBI spied on President Trump's 2016 campaign. Barr also says he plans to set up a team to further investigate how the FBI handled the Russia probe. The Kings season is officially over after last night's game against Portland. Sacramento jumped out to a 28 point lead, but the starters did not play in the second half and the Blazers came back to win. So the season ends for the Kings with a 39 and 43 record. And that is your daily blend of news and information. If you got something you want to share with us when you see it online, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10.